So when you look at properties in San Diego uh, owned by the North American Islamic Trust, the Islamic Center of San Diego is, is one. And Nate, North American Islamic Trust, is not only identified as a Muslim Brotherhood organization by the U.S. government in the largest terrorism financing trial in U.S. history, the U.S. versus Holy Land Foundation, which was adjudicated in uh, Northern District of Texas in 2008, but it actually was identified as a mechanism to fund uh, Hamas. In other words, monies went directly from Nate's bank account to Hamas leaders and Hamas organizations overseas, and that's who owns the Islamic Center of San Diego. Right, and it, it's incredible and it's horrifying to think about that, especially given our close proximity to this. Chris, talk to me about your experiences. You re are just published a book, Muslim Mafia, detailing uh, your exploits, I guess we'll call them, undercover, uh, infiltrating this, I guess, money trail between these Islamic centers and radical Islamist organizations. What did you see? Well, first off, when I, when I did my conversion to go undercover, I did a fake conversion to Islam as part of this undercover project. And I did this in a mosque in Northern Virginia called Dar al-Hijra, which was also owned by the North American Islamic Trust. And the imam that was there prior to me converting or doing the fake conversion was a man by the name of Anwar al -Aki. So again, these ties that we're seeing, this network between the Muslim Brotherhood, CARE, which is a Hamas organization that I went undercover with, and also the North American Islamic Trust, which we see right here in San Diego, they're all tied into this network. And this is a subversive network of jihadi organizations. Some of them, uh, they promote physical jihad. Some of them, they co we call them suit-wearing jihadis, where they actually work with law enforcement, they work with legislators, mayors, city councils, even uh, school districts like we're seeing here in San Diego. So this is an organization, the Muslim Brotherhood, and specifically Hamas here in the United States, that is working at all levels of society to do what they call civilization jihad, to destroy our civilization from within. Right, and John, that's where I wanted to turn to you. I mean, I recognized that term as soon as Chris started talking, this idea of civilization jihad. It's not just suicide bombers. It's not just establishing the caliphate in a violent way. When we're talking about civilization jihad, when we're talking about uh, this organization, the largest, or the, uh, a co an unindicted co-conspirator in the largest terror funding prosecution in our nation's history, this is the Council on American Islamic Relations. What is their goal? What do they hope to accomplish? Well, first, we have to understand that the evidence in the HLF trial, again, the largest terrorism financing trial ever successfully prosecuted in American history, reveals that CARE is not only an unindicted co-conspirator in that case, which means there is enough evidence to indict them, but they were identified by the U.S. government, Department of Justice, as a member of the U.S. Muslim Brotherhood's Palestine Committee, which is Hamas in the United States. Uh, Chris pulled uh, information out of their headquarters. He pulled over 12,000 documents out of their headquarters, and one of them was their 2004 CARES 2004 Muslim platform uh, saying that they were trying to decide whether to work with Osama bin Laden or not. Uh, working with groups like that. And we have right on CARE San Diego's website, they say that the zakat, the mandatory uh, giving for Muslims, that they receive 100% of it goes to uh, Fisa Bilila, which they say uh, in Islamic law is Islamic military operations or what our law specifically calls terrorism. So they tell you on their website they are funding terrorism. CARE San Diego, let's be clear.